So hey everyone, today I'm going to share you three tips and tricks in SaaS software that can make your coding journey more effective and easier as well. So let's go to the screen. As in the screen, you can see I have opened SaaS Studio and that I have created one data RF1. So you can see in this data, I have used a lot of times rename statement. Let's suppose there is a scenario in that I want to replace all the rename or I want to change all the rename with scan function. Okay. So what I'll do mostly people will do, they will select, okay, one and they will replace with scan. Same will do for another one. But there is an option that you can select the whole data. And after selecting the whole data, you can use control F. So once you use control F, you can see this find and replace option will open. Okay. Here you can simply write which particular word you want to replace. So we will write rename here because we want to replace rename word and replace with will write the new word we want. So let's suppose we want scan function. Okay. Instead of rename statement, we want scan function. So simply what we can do after that, we can, first of all, if you want to check how many words are there with the rename, you can click on find all. So you can see there are 13 occurrence of the rename words. Okay. Or rename statement. Now you can simply click on replace all. So you can see all the rename statement got replaced with scan function. But let's suppose there is another scenario. Okay. In that you want to particularly replace one by one. Okay. So you can click replace one at a time and you can see it is replacing one at a time. So if you want to replace one by one, so you can do that as well. Okay. So hope this is useful for you. This is the first trick. Now let's move to the next trick. Now what happened? Let's suppose uh, your teammate or someone is telling you that you want to replace the scan with some other name. Okay. Let's suppose scan function you want to replace with turn word. So what you will do simply will select or people will remove one by one like this and they will write tran word. Okay. And let's suppose you want to do it for only two places. So you'll be doing here as well. So it means you are deleting one by one and then you are writing, but you don't need to do in this way. So whenever you want to replace a particular word, okay, you can simply double click. You can simply see here, I'm double clicking on scan function and it got selected. Now let's suppose what I want to replace, uh, I want instead of scan, I want to write here tran word. So I can write tran word. So you don't need to like uh, first delete one by one and then write. Simply you just select double click. Okay. You just double click and it will select the particular word. Okay. And don't need to click backspace as well. You can simply write the new word whatever you want. So guys, this was the second tip. Now let's move to the third tip. Okay. Now let's suppose you want to select a whole row. So what people will do mostly they will select like this way. Okay. Let's suppose you want to select the 14th row. You'll select in this way, but this is not the correct way of selecting. This is a wrong way of selecting a row. You can simply, let's suppose I want to select the eighth row. I'll click here in the beginning. You can see my cursor. In the very beginning, I'm clicking and it is selecting the whole row. Let's suppose I want to select the first row. So I'll click at the beginning. It will select the whole row. Again, let's see it for 14th row. I'm just clicking at the beginning. You can see my cursor and it is selecting the whole row. Now the example, which I showed you in the first trick, okay, find and replace that instead of control F, you can do with this symbol as well. Okay. Let's suppose you want to do changes in this data. I'll select this data. I'll click on the symbol you can see on the screen, find and replace. It will open the same option that you have opened through control plus F. Okay. So guys, these are the three tips and tricks that can make your coding more effective and easier as well. So if this video is useful to you and you found this tips and trick for the first time, so do let us know in the comments as well. If you know some more tips and trick that you can also let us know in the comments. So thank you everyone and bye-bye everyone.